Skin and welcome to our expo. My name is Tracy. I'm the sales and marketing manager for New Skin, and it's my pleasure to kick this session off. We, you're going to hear from three very special ladies: uh, Kate Edwards, Sharon Fu, and Susan McDonald. And they are all very experienced leaders in this business, very passionate about New Skin. And what you take away from this session. Um, are some passionate stories of how they got started in New Skin, uh, why New Skin, and what New Skin has done for them and their families. So to kick it off, we have the beautiful Kate Edwards. Welcome, Kate. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate um, being here today. It's a a little bit nervous for me because um, I, I'm known as the live queen, but give me a give me a room to speak in and it's, um, it's rather nerve-wracking. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to share my journey with you. So I am, um, obviously I'm Kate, I'm 38 and I come from the UK. I've, um, I'm a single mum. Um, I came to Melbourne about two years ago. I had absolutely no idea where I was going, what I was doing or how I was actually going to make a living. Um, a girlfriend of mine randomly rang me up and just said, you know, do you want to do a toothpaste post? And I just said, what have I got to lose? What have I got to lose? Um, and then, yeah, it was just kind of, little did I know, a toothpaste post was actually going to change my life. Um, you know, I, I then discovered that um, I went on to, um, randomly there was a, an expo that came up in Sydney, and I took the chance to go, um, because I couldn't technically, at that point I just started the business, I couldn't afford to go. Um, it wasn't really something that I envisioned that I would be there. But I did it. I, I found it within myself. I knew that I needed to be there. So I went, I met the leaders. We had an amazing time. And luckily enough, it was just at the point where Velocity was just being um, launched. So the new compensation plan was literally thrown at us and we were just blown away. So, you know, the, the moment of, of truth came for me when I went to Sydney, I got the products in my hand. I was believing in myself that I knew that I could do this and I knew that I had a future with new skin um, and that's where my journey began. I then became aware of being able to build a business on social media with an incredible bunch of, of, of what I call queens. So my queens are my team um, and being able to empower other people the way that this business has empowered me has been incredible um, and the, the future that it's given me, the direction, the vision and you know everything that I've ever dreamed of is literally now right in my hands. My future is, is bright, it's going to be successful and we have um, an amazing group of people that are going to be working with us. And, and I also want to um, just say um, a couple of things that I've written down, I'm sorry that um, I I just didn't want to forget anything tonight, today. Um, and because I wrote a little poem that I wanted to share with you all because it was something that meant a lot to me. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm just going to read it because um, when I first started this business, it was, it, was, it was a really hard time in my life and I didn't think that it would be something that I could actually do. I was a single mom. I didn't have um, much of a, a direction. I didn't. I was working a job um, in a at a golf course. I was cleaning, and, you know. And I can still remember. I can still remember stand, sitting there cleaning somebody's toilet, saying, "How many toothpaste do I have to sell to not do this anymore?" <laughs> and I was thinking, that, you know. And I thought, I can do this. I can actually do this. And this has given me the opportunity to change my life. And I really, really hope that it can change yours too. Because what it's done for me is, is yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to the top, and there's nothing that's going to stop me. So thank you, New Skin, um, and thank you, everybody. And I'm just going to read you something that I wrote, um, which is quite dear to me. Um, I just wanted to say, so last year, I made a promise to myself and my son. my little boy, Harry. Um, I promise I will share with every single mom. I promise to be strong, I promise to provide, 
I promise to work hard for the nice things in life. I promise to empower, I promise to give, I promise to make one women stronger than God ever did. I built an empire of incredibly strong, independent women who wanted a chance at life, who wanted some cash in their bank account to call it mine. I'm not the type of woman that will ever settle or accept the ordinary way of life. Someone once told me, you will never shine. My mission is clear, my mission is strong. If you want to join me, please come along. yourself, please, please look to the future, be, de be determined, have a vision, have a clear goal, believe in the company because this compensation plan is built for, for strength and for people that are going to absolutely go for it. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody um, and I really hope you have a, a great journey with this business because it will definitely, definitely be amazing for you. Thank you. I'm just going to stand over here because this is a very intimate group. Is that okay? Yeah? yeah cool. Um, so, get this. Hello, everyone. Good morning. My name is Sharon. I'm from Sydney and I love Melbourne. So, I take every opportunity to be here. Okay? introduced to this business from my husband. When I got to a point in my career that I was looking for freedom, I got to a point in my career that I was sick and tired of asking permission. Does anyone else feel like that in the room? Asking for permission? Yeah, I felt that way. And we were looking for a business, but I didn't want a traditional business. I didn't want to be stuck. I didn't want the risk. So we were looking for something so what I was looking for, my first, well, first two F words is freedom and flexibility, okay, because that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to be able to do this business wherever I want, uh, wherever I can, in uh, whatever time, and that's my second, I've got two kids, they're six and eight, and that picture really capture our life now. So I started doing the business um, with no kids. So anyone in the room that are not parents yet? Who's in the room that's not parents yet? Okay, I can relate to you. Because I started New Skin um, without any kids. So I knew how to, I, 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 I built the business that way. And then later on, for the last five, six years, I've been pretty semi-retired in our business because of the way that the business is. It allows you to have that leverage for you to, to take some time off and our income kept coming in. So I wanted that flexibility. And the second photo was with a team member of mine, um, us doing business literally anywhere, anytime. And that's the beauty of it. The next one is really about family. Okay, why do I do this? It's really family. So when I chose this business, I envisioned, I saw a vision of myself starting a family and we wanted to be with our kids. We wanted to raise them. We wanted to be there to see the every first step, the every first word. And I didn't want to feel that sense of guilt when you ask for time off working for a boss. Do you know that feeling when you have that? Yeah? Okay. So that's actually a picture of us. Um, we just kept, got back a few weeks ago from South Africa. Um, on the success trip, and we had a lot of fun. Um, so those are my kids, Nate and Lauren, and they're six and eight. The third F word <laughs> that I wanted to share, well, uh, is first class and fast thinking, fast forward thinking company. Because in today's life, you would agree with me that if a company is not forward thinking, 
you really don't have a business. Do you guys agree with me yes. on that? So with this incredible company, and I don't have to go through the statistics, one thing that I really appreciate about this company is just how forward and how innovative they are. Because what it is today, the company is already thinking about what is needed 10 years from now. So in the room, if you guys can think that I used to rave on about the Nokia phone. Who used to own Nokia phone in here? Yes, and who actually has a Nokia phone in this room? Not one of you. Okay, they dominated the, 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 the phone company for many years. Okay, so that's just an example of that. The next one is obviously five star products. I didn't come from a beauty industry, but I knew that if we have products that people needed and wanted and use every single day, then I knew that I could have a really good business. Agree? Yeah. Even when I'm sleeping, people are using those products. That's an amazing business to be in. And we're very lucky to have that. Um, the next one is obviously floral, flawless skin. I grew up in Sydney and I, um, I grew up uh, probably in the era where skincare wasn't a big deal. I didn't know how to look after my skin and my skin suffer a lot. So some people are nodding their head. You know, I didn't know how to do that. And, you know, obviously with new skin is that we have amazing skin. The next one, obviously, is the fountain of youth, right? Who doesn't want that? Check this out. That's actually a picture of me before age lock and before kids, okay? That's um, my husband and I. So with new skin, I can tell you that when you use the products, you become a product of the product, okay? It's really amazing. Obviously, fast and fair pay plan. Who doesn't want that, right? To have a company that pays us every day, every week, every month, that's incredible, right? And if I can draw your attention of that income there. Working in corporate, or even having your own business, I could never reach that type of income, no matter how hard I worked, okay? So when I saw that presentation, I thought to myself, wow, that's pretty incredible. And then I thought, you know, how many other people are earning that kind of income? And that's when I saw the numbers and I just thought, you know, if they can do it, I can do it. The next one is obviously fun and friendship. We have a lot of fun and I agree in building the business with a lot of fun and amazing friends that you develop in your business. Uh, that was me trying to do something on uh, Table Mountain in South Africa. Just want to test out whether it's actually flat. <laughs> okay, no one's laughing. <laughs> Come on, what's going on? I've been up since four to be here today, okay? Um, and we have amazing friends around the world and built amazing relationship. And I say that, um, you know, in a lot of business, you may be successful, okay? but you don't develop a type of culture and the friendships that you develop with this company. And I truly mean that from my heart. Um, it's something that I value a lot. And finally, fulfillment. When I was working in corporate, I truly didn't feel fulfilled. I didn't feel like I was making a difference. I was very successful and I got, you know, pretty good income, but I didn't feel like I was truly, truly making a difference in someone's life. And, and it was until this, this business that I felt that way. And that's a picture of my, my, um, my daughter and I, boss lady and mini boss. And to them, they are growing up in an area where they see their mom and dad every single day, we drop them off, we pick them up, and that's what they see. They don't see anything else. And to be able to share that opportunity with other people that are looking for that fulfillment is something that I really truly believe that only this company can, can provide. So anyway, I've shared my 10 F words with you guys and why I do this and hopefully you guys got something out of it. Thank you very much. Today to share with you 
I absolutely love this business. I've been with New Skin now for over three years. Uh, and it's something that I never ever even imagined that I would be doing. So I want to tell you a little bit about my story. Um, before I go into the new skin side of things, I want to tell you a little bit about my background. So I was actually born in Northern Ireland, which is hard to believe given my very Australian accent. Um, and we moved to Australia when I was four and a half. And the reason that we moved to Australia was that uh, we lived in Belfast, and in Belfast at the time when I was little, there was a lot of trouble. There was a civil war going on. Uh, one night, my parents went out for dinner, and they left my sister and I with my grandmother um, to babysit us. And they went to a restaurant in Belfast. Um, they had a beautiful meal. They left the restaurant, and um, they walked, I don't know, 100 metres up the road, and the restaurant blew up. And um, the people in that restaurant died. So my parents decided that we weren't gonna stay in Ireland. So we moved to Australia. And at that time, it was um, 1973. So it was a huge move, you know, the complete opposite side of the world. Um, it was hard, you know, to contact their parents and family. It was expensive to get a plane. So they completely changed their lives. And I really love this quote by Jim Rome. If you're not willing to risk the, well, the unusual, it should say, you'll have to settle for the ordinary. So I consider myself very lucky that I grew up in a family where my parents were willing to risk the unusual. So the reason that I'm telling you guys about that when I finished school, I went to uni. I actually dropped out of uni because I wanted to earn money. And that was a bit of an unusual decision. My parents actually weren't happy about that at all. They really wanted me to stay at uni, you know, get a great education, get a great job, all of those things. But I wanted to earn money. I was determined to earn money. But I very, very quickly found out that I was not destined to work for somebody else. I didn't like it. I didn't like people telling me what to do. Um, I was very young, but um, I felt like other people had control over everything. And I felt like they sometimes made these really stupid decisions, but there was nothing that I could do about it. So anyway, I decided to start my own business. I was 24. So I guess, yeah, I pretty much always had my own business. It was actually a recruitment company. And Sharon, funnily enough, we recruited business analysts, systems analysts, lots of different IT roles. At that time, I didn't feel like it was a risk. You know, I was young, I was only 24. I didn't have kids, and I didn't have a mortgage. So it was a pretty, I felt a pretty easy thing to do at that time. That business grew very quickly. I worked very, very hard and it became very successful. We were in Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane, and the business turned over two to $3 million per annum which was pretty awesome. So financially, I had a pretty good lifestyle. Then I got married and I had kids. And obviously things change when you have children, but some other things changed in my life as well. That business was a traditional business <laughs> and it did come with quite a few headaches. I did work really hard, I worked really long hours. It was quite stressful, but I did actually enjoy it. You know, I loved putting, um, job ads up and helping people to find work. So I really love people. So it was a lot of fun and I was able to put in the hours that we needed because as I said, at that time I didn't have kids. Well, once I had kids, I didn't really want to do it anymore. I wanted to be at home with the children. <laughs> so this is what happened. You know, I just, I, I kept on working and I just felt, well, I don't have any time. There's no time for the children, there's no time for my friends, there's no time for the family, and there certainly wasn't any time for me. I was really fortunate though, because my husband at the time actually then came and worked in the business, and he was great, he did an amazing job, and I stepped back a bit. So I was able to work part-time, and I had a great lifestyle. So, you know, I would take the children to um, kinder or school, whatever it was, and go to the gym, all of those sorts of things, and I would work part-time, and I really enjoyed that. But you probably heard the word ex-husband. <laughs> things changed. 
So I went through a marriage breakdown and um, it was quite a traumatic time. And as part of that, I actually decided to walk away from my business. It wasn't something that I could see that um, we could do together anymore. Uh, and I was ready for something else, but it was a huge decision because when I walked away, I actually didn't have any income at all. That was a pretty big deal and it hadn't actually really crossed my mind until I didn't have a business anymore and there was no money coming in anymore. So I got a job. <laughs> I went and got a job and I went and worked for somebody else and it was a crazy job. Like, it was full on. I was up at the crack of dawn. I was in the city, like, sometimes at 6 a.m. I was working all day. Um, I was, a, like, a project manager um, for a, a lot of, looking after a lot of IT staff. It was full on. I didn't enjoy it. I can't say that I did. I earned some good money. And I never saw the kids, which was a really, really big problem. They were coming up to their um, end of primary school and they really needed me, especially since their lives had changed so much. And so this is where this quote comes in. Einstein, who we've all heard of, says that the uh, definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result. So I'm glad that I was able to make the change. And that sort of comes back to my parents as well, and that decision that they made all those years ago to make a change in their lives for the sake of me and my sister. Uh, yeah, so I made the change and um, I didn't have a job again. <laughs> I didn't have any income again and so I needed to find something else to do. Um, new Skin kind of fell into my lap. One of my girlfriends introduced me to the business. I was very, very sceptical of it, but I could see that it would give me flexibility. You know, I could be there for the kids. I could be there in the morning, I could be there when they got home from school, I could talk to them. Um, and as they have grown into teenagers, that has actually become more and more important. So I get it, you know, there's probably a lot of people in this room who've been through a similar change, or who know that they should, but they're too scared to do it. Let me tell you that it's absolutely worth it. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before, you know, all this talk about comfort zones, and of course we all want to be comfortable. You know, nobody wants to do anything that's scary. But you've heard this too, the magic happens outside your comfort zone. Um, and I think, Kate, you can attest to that, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you can just, like, get yourself to step out there and try something different and make a change, you are going to be so, so proud of yourselves. It is totally worth it. All right, so why new skin? Well, I realised that I needed to build something for myself. I couldn't keep working for somebody else. And that if I didn't build something for myself, I was going to be employed by someone for the rest of my life. And I was not going to have any control whatsoever over my income, my time, how many days off that I could have each year, and the type of impact that I could actually make on the world. So I see that New Skin could kind of give me the opportunity to do something different. So I kind of jumped in, and I love that it gave, like I was really skeptical at first and scared. I was so worried about what other people would think of me, which right now, like standing up here three years later, just seems so completely and utterly ridiculous. But I was definitely there and I was there for a while. So I love New Skin. What do I love? I love the integrity of this company. This is a company that has a heart. This is a company that cares about people. And you can see it in everything that they do. The corporate staff are phenomenal. The products are some, who said five star? Sharon, I think said five star products. You can believe in them. I was in Provo earlier this year where um, our New Skin head office is and one of the things that Dr. Joe, Joe Chang said was, you will never be embarrassed about our products. You will never, ever have to be embarrassed because they are the best products in the world. So I love all of that. Most of all, I really, really love the people. Lots of these beautiful people are here in this room. So we get the opportunity to introduce amazing people to the business and work closely with them. And they become, look, these guys here, they're like my family. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love working with you. And the wider groups, incredible people. 
So, here's my kids. <laughs> kids are getting a good showing today. This is Bailey and Annabelle. Bailey recently turned 16. Annabelle is nearly 15. New Skin has given me the opportunity to work from home. And I really feel like these kids are teenagers and they need me. It's great in the morning they get up, they have breakfast, I take them to school. Yes, I work hard, but I can work everything I do around these two gorgeous kids. And I want to leave you with this thought. What are you defined by? What defines you? And I've been doing a bit of reading lately. I love books. Anyway, I've been reading about the subconscious mind and I've sort of come to the belief that your subconscious mind defines you. You know, what are you saying to yourself? What language do you use? Are you kind to yourself? I think when you wake up in the morning, you're either defined in one of two ways. One of them is that you're either defined by your memories of what's happened in the past or you're defined by your vision of the future. So now I'm defined by my vision of the future and I would hope that you could all have that same experience as well. Thank you.